Last month's flooding in Johnson County damaged or destroyed dozens of homes. The same was true for some area churches. Crews were even forced to tear down and burn one of them. As WYMT's Matthew Rand reports, one group wants to raise enough money to help area churches rebuild. A sign and a steeple. That's all that's left of Ramey Branch Gospel Church in Flat Gap. The building was torn down after it was badly damaged by flooding in July. Most of the people that go to church here was, has lost everything they've had, so they don't have the funds to even rebuild their church, much less in their own life. That is why, says Paintsville native Jimmy Guess, he and a few others set up a fund to help storm-damaged churches in the area. He says he would like to see every church in the Commonwealth donate. Take up an extra offering, $10, $5, it don't matter. Uh, just uh, help us help us rebuild these churches. We've got over $250,000 worth of damage to three churches here. Like I said, on the outside of the building, the water was almost up to the bottom of the windows. Bob Williams is the pastor of Redbush Enterprise Baptist Church. He says the water ran about six inches deep in the sanctuary, ruining the carpet and damaging the pews. The flooding took out a number of cabinets and appliances here in the kitchen. The church's pastor tells me the total damage to the church ranges anywhere from fifteen to $18,000. He says he is encouraged to see area churches and individuals bearing each other's burdens in time of need. You know, we're all working for the same goal anyway, so uh, when, when one is in trouble, all, they all pitch in and help, and that's how it works. We all work together. Working together to help these churches rebuild. In Johnson County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. If you would like to help, there is a fund set up at BB&T Bank, and you can find more on our website.